Hello everyone. Good morning and win today. Very happy Sunday to all of you. <laughs> Alright, so um, I'm just stepping out and reflecting on something I want to like to share with all of you today. You see, um, I want to talk from the whole saga of what has been happening to the synagogue of all nations. And um, many of us have been talking, just talking, just parabolating, just ranting, without learning anything from that. I want to believe you're learning, you've learned something. If you have not learned something, I will want to help you share what I've learned with you. In these old issues, I've learned three things. Three things I will never forget and I will never take for granted. Number one, as a man, as a woman, don't just marry anybody. There is a woman for every man. And there's a man for every woman. Don't marry anybody because the person has money. Don't marry anybody because the person has body features. Don't marry anybody because he or she looks handsome and beautiful. <laughs> Pray very well before taking any decision. Your thinking, your judgment is very limited to today and tomorrow. But God's judgment is everlasting. You may see a girl or a guy that is so rich today, so beautiful and so handsome, but nobody knows what the future holds. You may wake up one day and the, and the beauty is normal. You may wake up one day and the wealth is normal. Will you see people to marry that person? You should marry people beyond, beyond um, wealth, beyond beauty, beyond handsomeness and the rest. Imagine if Prophet T.B. Joshua had married one lady because she's been a pro he's been a prophet and um, happened to see a whole lot of women that comes to him for counseling and the rest. And out of that, he picked up one person to marry because it was beautiful. Though I know nobody would have been so beautiful like mommy. Yes, that one is sure. <laughs> but you know. Just get beautiful, married to someone, someone, one, 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 because he was doing well and stuff. Have you seen what would have happened today? God took mommy to him. I want to believe mommy, daddy did not even really understand why God took mommy to him. But now, wherever he is, he now knows. It. And we all know why God took mommy William Joshua to Prophet T.B. Joshua. Have you seen it? So don't just wake up and marry someone because of selfish interest, because of what you think, because of what your judgment is. Wait for God to tell you what you need to do and what you should do. As I was said, your judgment is limited. Your thinking is limited. Your strategy is limited. Whatever you would think, whatever would be your sense of judgment to marry that person is limited to today and just tomorrow. But you see, when God tells you to do something, it is eternal. It is for life. Even if you're about to get married right now, think twice or pray again. Or, because your life, destiny, your tomorrow, even after your death, just like what is happening right now, depends on who you get married to. What will happen after you're gone depends on who you get married to. That's number one. Number two, <laughs> Daddy have been saying, don't trust anybody. He said, leave the word trust for God. Love everyone, but don't trust anybody. Don't just trust anybody. Anybody can change. That's why most times when you when I see people trusting people, they say, no, me, my papa said it. No, he's, he, I know, I, I trust. I said, what are you doing? Don't trust anybody. Your friend today can be your worst enemy tomorrow. Your worst enemy today can be your worst, your, your best friend tomorrow. Don't trust anybody. Just love and don't trust anybody. And be very careful with the information you share with people. Because when they want to turn their back on you, they will use this information against you. <laughs> when people will turn their back on you, they will use this, whatever you told them, whatever they knew about you, against you. Don't trust anybody and be very careful with what you share with people. Mind you, the day you share your secret with someone is not my secret. Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Number three, people will come around you when they have what they can get from you or when there's something, what they can get from you. 
the moment that favor ceased, their loyalty ceased. People around you, if you check your circle, you have to be very careful. They come around you because of what they can get from you, what you have to offer. The moment that favor ceases, the friendship, the loyalty ends at that time. So be very, very careful. Not everyone that smiles with you come, loves you genuinely. They smile with you because of what they can get from you. Because of what you have on the table. Because of what you can offer. The day you, you stop giving that thing, everything ends. That's what three things I have personally learned from what has happened at the synagogue of all nations. I will never forget. And nothing will make me fall a victim. Now I know that Daddy, Daddy, Daddy was wiser than even professors. You see, when the Spirit gives you wisdom, that, that wasn't knowledge. Daddy was so wise, he had wisdom. That if he did not operate in wisdom, today this problem would have been more than this. But you see, the wisdom of God has curtailed this problem. That, you know, he has come to this point. I'm telling you the truth. So, that's what I've learned, and I believe too. As you're talking, as you're ranting, as you're pointing fingers, you have also learned something. Because I have learned what I've just shared with you. Have a happy evening, good morning, and win forever. Don't forget, on the 4th of December, we are gathering to give God thanks for a successful one year of a modern Lord um, as the, synagogue, uh, the leader of the Synagogue Church of All Nations. God bless all of you. Have a beautiful evening ahead.